Aleluia! Masigo, aleluia! If you believe Jesus is here, kindly lift up your left hand. And if you believe Jesus will touch you this evening, lift up the right one. And put your hands together for Jesus! Hallelujah! Jesus. Lift up your right hand. Give Jesus a wave. Mupone si Jesus. Mufundi si Jesus. Mumiriri Jesus. Murabi Jesus. Hakuna wakaita semi. Wariwe masimba ose. Mufundi si Jesu, umeriri Jesu, murabi Jesu, hakuna wakaita semi, wariwe masimba ose.
I used to live. Shout Jesus. Are you here? Jesus. Everybody shout Jesus. Jesus. Come on and 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 shout Jesus. 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 In the water. Jesus. Jesus. At the mansion. Jesus. At the mansion. Jesus. Of the name. Jesus. Of the name. Jesus. Of Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, every knee. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Every knee, every knee in Masuigo, every knee in Harari, every knee in Bulawayo, every knee in Zimbabwe, Shaba. And 
every tongue, tell her that every tongue shall confess, every tongue shall confess that your Jesus, that my Jesus, that our Jesus, did you hear that? It's Lord. Everybody shout Jesus. Uchi Daiso. Uchi Daiso. Uchi Daiso. Everybody shout Jesus. Come on and 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 shout Jesus. Zwakaita, Bamuchi Jikwa, Ropa Rakadeuka, Rakati Bonessa, Tasuto Kutanai, Tasuto Kuvagai, Tasuto Kutai, Taku Kutai, Missy or say, Hey, everybody shout Jesus. Come on, I shout Jesus. Lift up your two hands. Lift up your two hands. Come on and praise it. Everybody shout Jesus. Come on, I shout Jesus. What an atmosphere tonight. God is going to move powerfully through this atmosphere. Our eyes are fixed on Jesus tonight. And before we receive the servant of God, shall we welcome Ida to prepare our hearts for what we are about to receive tonight.
kept he for me who caused his pain for me who him to drives away his fears. It makes the wounded spirit whole and calms the troubled breath. It's manna to the hungry soul and to the shepherd friend my prophet priest and king my lord my life my way my end accept the praise I bring oh how sweet the name of Jesus sounds in a believer's ear It suits his sorrows Heals his wounds And drives away his fears It suits his sorrows Heals his wounds And drives What an unforgettable experience here in Masringo this week. It's Clap your hands for Jesus. God sent us a messenger. He sent us his servant and his name is Evangelist Doug Heward Mills. He is still here with us tonight to minister the word of God and the power of God. Please rise your feet if you are ready to receive his ministry. Let's welcome him tonight.
thank you for tonight. Heal and deliver, Lord Jesus. By your great power. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We praise you. Your power is here tonight. To set everyone free. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you for miracles. Deliverance. From evil spirits. In Jesus' name. Lay your hands on your chest right now. He's the Lord that healeth you today. As the presence of God is here. Jesus is healing already. He's a healing Jesus. And his power is here tonight. Thank you. He's a healing Jesus. A healing Jesus. He's healing you. Receive your healing. We pray for miracles. Whatever represents a problem in the life of anybody standing here today, we declare that problem is solved in the name of Jesus. Whatever is a demon, a wicked power, we declare that power is broken tonight in the name of Jesus. You are free. You are free. You are free. By the power of the Holy Ghost, receive your freedom and deliverance from evil spirits. Now lift your hands, everyone. Thank God for his power that is all over this place tonight. Jesus, we love you. We thank you for your mercy and your healing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. Tell somebody sitting by you or standing by you, I have already received my miracle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now tonight I want to first of all thank the wonderful board of, chair, board of trustees, chairman, and all the pastors in Majvingo for welcoming us to your beautiful, famous city with, with the stone city that we have enjoyed. Choktanga do da utenda o Baba Bishop Josia ne bokarabo rose ne ku kuta kwenyu kuno kuno rushingo romapke. And I uh, want to say God bless the church here. Mwari garo pa fadze kereke irikuno. God bless Zimbabwe. Mwari ropa fadze in Zimbabwe. As you have received us here. You have received many angels and many good powers into this city. A change is coming. And it will be a good change. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We also thank Bishop Nyati. 
for his skilled chairmanship of healing Jesus campaign in the whole of Zimbabwe. He has ably chaired and steered the affairs of the campaign in the whole nation. And we say, God bless you and your wonderful churches. Amen. Tonight is your night for escaping from the powers of wickedness. The prophecy you believe is the prophecy that will happen in your life. When you hear a prophecy, it is the one that you believe that will happen in your life. So whatever prophecy is declared tonight, believe it and it will happen practically in your life. Today I want to tell you a simple story, a story that Jesus Christ told. And I'm just interested in whatever Jesus either said or did. These are the two things I'm interested in. What's something that Jesus Christ said or something that he did? Because Jesus is my savior and I'm here to talk about Jesus Christ. That is what I'm here for. Jesus told the story. He said, a certain man had two sons and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. And he divided his houses Farms in Zimbabwe, he divided into exactly two and gave half to one of his sons and half to the other son. And not many days after, the younger gathered everything together and took his journey to a far country where he was far from his father and there he wasted his substance with riotous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land and he began to be in want for the first time. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country and the citizen of that country sent him into the field to feed swine. And he would fain have filled his belly with the husks that the Swine did eat, but no man gave unto him. Zino akate enda kuyika iri kure, wakachika, ndoku peta fuma esa ndoku ditu, ya pera, zino zu wakaenda, kumukuru ekuta, akano puwa basa, roku futanguruwe, akufu 
zanguru ye kudaro zvinonzi wakashuira kudya mateko asi hapana kamupa and when he came to himself he said ah, how many servants of my father have bread enough to eat and some to spare in the fridge and i perish with hunger i will arise and i will go to my father and i will say unto him father i have sinned against heaven and before thee and i am no more worthy to be called thy son make me as one of thy hired servants zvino gata pembenuka dzati we adzoka kufunga dzake akati ah kovaranda vangani vaba babangu vana zvekudya zvimwe vachitosiya ndokuti mundaga rodza kandi chadzokera kuda baba ndikoti baba chinita iumwe varanda venyu nekuti handi chakodze kuti ndinzi mwana wenyu and he arose and came to his father but when he was far away his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him and his son, and the son said unto him father i have sinned against heaven and in thy sight and i am no more worthy to be called thy son zvino afunga zvekudzokera kuna baba hari parwedo rwekuenda zvinonzi baba vakabona vachiri kure ndokumuchingamidza ndokumusheta kuti mvu vamusheta kudaro zvinonzi vakamupfekedza hanzu vakamupa kunyangwe nechintori vakabuitira zvakanaka yakati baba and kozere kuvakana muranda wenyu but the father said to his servants bring forth the best robe and put it on him put a ring on his hand shoes on his feet and bring hither the fatted calf and kill it and eat it and let us be merry for this my boy was dead but he is alive again he was lost and he is found and they began to be merry hallelujah baba vana kuterera mashoko ekusirisa emwana vakati kuvaranda manyai uya ine hembe dzakanaka tora ichindori kunyangwe nezvekupfeka mutsoka zvikanzi chiura yai Muru yakakotswa mayura yakudaro ngatitye tipembere nekuti uya ngakafa wambuka hey. hey. This is a famous story one of the most famous stories that Jesus Christ told Nyaya yakakurumbira zvikuru yakataurwa na Jesu ndiyo nyaya yakaita sei yatinonzwa It is a story that is a story of everybody here in Mashvingo and in Zimbabwe. Inyaye munhu wese ari mashingo nezimbabwe yose nekutengeshera kwai. There is no story that describes human beings as well as this story. Hakuna nyaye inotsanangura hunhu havanhu kudarika nyaye iyi yabva mukuverengwa. This story tells us that there were two sons and you see one was good and one was bad so that is how all of us are you may think everybody is bad but it's not true or everybody is good but it's not true one was good and one was bad munyai trikona wakaipa nakanaka izvo ndo zvazviriwa muphenyu kune vamwe vakanaka vamwe vakaipa iwe kana vakaipa usafu ndio kuti vanhu vese vakaipa kune vamwe vakatonaka kana vakanaka futi usafu ndio kuti vanhu vese vakanaka kune vakashatisisa hey! hey! 
You may think everybody is drinking at the bar. Everybody is not going to church. Everybody is going to church. It's not true. You find out there are two types of people. Some are doing this good and some are doing bad. So never think that everybody is doing the same thing. It is not true. One day, a friend of mine went to a nightclub and they were coming home at 2 a.m. in the night. They had gone to drink, booze, follow girls, dancing. They were half drunk and they were coming back at top speed in the middle of the night. Hey. Hey. So as they were, as they were coming, as they were driving in the night, the one driving told uh, the one who was not driving. Uh, I told his friend, "Let's play some music." As they were driving at top speed. So the one who was driving told him, find one of the tapes. You know, those days they used to do tape. Find one of the tapes and play it. They were drunk, half drunk, finished boozing, fornicating, stupidity, foolishness, everything, smoking, drunk. They were coming home. So he told his friend, play one of the disco music for us to jam all the way home tonight. Hey. Hey. So the, the guy took the tape and put it in. Because it was dark, he didn't know which music he was playing. When he put it in, he was shocked. Do you know what was playing? Preaching, preaching. No music, it was preaching. What do so I he asked his friend, Hey, when did you have preaching in your car? I thought we were all going to hell together. I thought we were all boozing and jamming and fooling to hell. When did you start listening to preaching in your car? And you know, the guy told him, Look, I need to secure myself. This my friend was shocked. He said he realized that if they had had an accident, maybe this guy would have gone straight to heaven and he would have gone to hell because he assumed that everybody is a fool and everybody is not interested in God. Everybody is not going to church, not knowing that secretly somebody was searching for God privately. So never think that everybody is bad, everybody doesn't like God, everybody is the same. No, the Bible said there were two sons. One was like this, one was like this. 
kuti vanhu vese mapenzi zvanzi kwaive nevaviri wakanaka ne wakaipa and then the bible says Jesus said the young one the younger one Muri. he told his father father give me my good you see the bible says foolishness is in the heart of the young bible not to pansy una kara muchitunga shevadok the bible says remember your creator in the days of thy youth while the evil days come not nor the ears draw nigh when thou shalt say i have no pleasure remember your creator when you are a young man rogarira chofa mari wako pamazuva ya uduku wako nguva dzakutambudzika dzisati dzashika uchiri mudiki many people think that when you are young is a time to fool around But I want you to know when you look under a tree you do not only see brown leaves you see green leaves and brown leaves It's not only old people who die young people also die Young leaves fall to the ground. Brown leaves, old leaves fall to the ground. So that's why God says, when you are a young person, remember your creator even when you are young. Do not think that ah, when I get old, I will start to go to church. You know that would you may never be old. Not everybody becomes old. Many die as young people. Ingoda Jehova uri mudiki nekuti yekuti uchachembera yawizive You may never be old no kona usachembera kwacho The first time you know I am a medical doctor and the first time I did a postmortem a postmortem is an operation you do on a dead person Pandaka ita uchiremba kekutangisisa katakafuya munhu afati chida kuongorora chonzere yechaburai The first time I did that operation I was 25 years old holding a knife and the person who was lying on the table naked in front of me was a 16 year old young beautiful girl who was dead and nobody knew why she was dead ndiri mudiki sachireba kudaro makore makumi maviri nemashaka pamberi pangu pane musikana mudiki diki afa pasikato zika kuti chamura chacho chinobva vachi hey hey as i look at her we cut her body into pieces Then the professor said look into her we couldn't find the reason why she was dead then he said look into her womb and there was a little baby she has tried to abort the baby and she died Take a chaga pose mu muviri wake tikashaya mukuru aitifundisa zvikanzi chichaka imudumbu ndokunowana chana chitoko chakanga chafira imombo chakanga yedza kusotora It is not everybody who grows old and has a chance to repent when you are in your middle age and you start to dress like an old lady and say I am now going to church every Tuesday, Friday, Wednesday and Sunday. Asi munhu wese anopiwa mukana wekuchembera kuti ndatifambe zvinoda kupfeka hadzu dzine rutsiko ndichiti ndoenda kuchipiri chitatu china ndichienda kukereka. And the Bible says the young man asked his father for his inheritance. I don't know but where I come from. You cannot ask your father, give me what you are going to give me when you die. I cannot wait for you to die. I have no time for you to die. Give me what you have now. Ah, ai. 
Can you do that in Zimbabwe? Ah, Bondo. When we continue fine, as you don't tarry, see, we put the Baba at your pen. Or the chindi pint, Quangu to Panak. Manono, Kaku Fanta, Karaimati Katsira, Sumsan. She got a shy tick. And this boy took all that he had and showed the real reason why he wanted his father's money was only one thing. He wanted to go far away from his father. The Bible says he took his journey to a far country, as far from God as possible, as far from church as possible, as far from your father as possible. The Bible says all we like sheep have gone astray and we have turned everyone to his own way and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. We have gone astray like sheep. Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 5. The Bible said, Thus says the Lord, What iniquity have your fathers found in me that they have gone far from me and have walked after vanity and become vain? Why? Why have you gone far from God? Why, prodigal son? Why? Jeremiah Marivano Punza, could you go Chakai, Pachakai, Panaman, Sabayan, Chaku Pira Pantir, Chi, Chi, Unavamu Punzo, with the Chino Pori, Chi. Psalm 73 says, Lo, they that are far from thee shall perish. Thou hast destroyed all them that go a whoring from thee. Tonight, all of you who are far from God, you'll be destroyed by going far from God. It is wicked people who want to go far. You know, in class, it's the bad boys who sit at the back. Hey. Far from the teacher as possible. As far from the teacher as possible. Yes. Is it not true in Zimbabwe? The bad boys and girls are at the back writing love notes to each other and passing kind of stories to each other at the back. Hey. Hey. Far. Wow. Far. And the Bible says, when he went, took his journey into a far country, he wasted his substance. When you don't know Jesus, you are wasting your life. Yes. Some of you ladies are wasting your beauty because you don't know God. You are far from God. You are wasting your beauty on all the boys in Mashvingo. I tell you. Hey. Hey. A nice, juicy, beautiful, voluptuous lady like you. You are wasting your beauty on every boy who comes knocking at the door. You open. You are like an apple which has been bitten 
by so many people. Nyam, 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 nyam. And finally, when your real husband comes, you are an apple which has so many bites on that apple. The Bible says he wasted his life. He wasted his substance. He wasted his substance. He wasted his money. Many people are poor because they have wasted their money. On foolish things. On on many girls. Yes. Hey. Hey. When you don't know Jesus, you will be wasting your money. Wasting your life. But when you know Jesus, your life will not be wasted. Many people in Zimbabwe have died of HIV. Wasted lives. You see a young man. 25 years old. Dead. You see young people. Wasted. Dead. Because you were far from God. Far. Far. You went as far as possible so that you could do whatever you wanted. <laughs> but tonight, Jesus is saying, Come closer. Come closer to me. Come to me. Come to me. He wants you to come nearer. That is why all through the Bible you see the word come. Come. Or you see the word come unto me. You see God inviting people always come near. Draw nigh to God. He will draw nigh to you. Don't go far from God. Come near to God. It will save your life. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says, one day, his money got finished. How many know that one day all the good things God gave you will get finished? You know, I always remember a lady who came to our church some years ago, a very old lady. And this lady had a picture of a very beautiful girl. She always carried with her. And she showed the church. Do you know this beautiful lady? No one knew who she was. I she asked us, do you know who is this lady? Everybody said no. Then she said, it is me. This is how I used to be. 
till my beauty got finished. It will get finished. The money will get finished. And the Bible says, there arose a mighty famine or a crisis. And he began to be in want. As for trouble, it comes to everybody whether you are near God or you are far from God. But when you are far from God, you don't have the solutions. And the Bible says instead of coming back to his father, he went and joined further, he went further and joined himself to a citizen of that country. And nobody gave him money. Many people who don't know God look for solutions elsewhere. Instead of coming back to God to seek God, instead of coming back to his father when he was in trouble, he went further to go and find a citizen of the country who made things even worse. When you have one boyfriend and he's not working, you go and find another boyfriend. And from one boyfriend to another, to another, to another, to another boyfriend. Looking for answers, but you cannot find answers until you come back to God. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. When there is difficulty and there is trouble and difficulty in the nation, it is supposed to make you come nearer to God. Yes. Who can help Zimbabwe? Only God can help you in Zimbabwe. Only God can help you in Zimbabwe. You know, one day I was watching a television and an American came and he was giving a testimony. He said, God has done something wonderful for him. And the first thing is that he thanked God that he was not born in Africa. Hey, hey. But you see, I thank God that all my life I've been in Africa because you see, the troubles in Africa turn us towards God. And I prefer to know God and not have money than to have a lot of money and say there is no God. Isaiah chapter 31 says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Woe to them that stay in the horses and trust in chariots. Because they are very strong. But they do not look to the Holy One of Israel. And they do not seek the Lord. Woe to you when you go to the well to look for help. Peter. We have an only 
When you are having a crisis, you must become like Jonah. Jonah was swallowed by the whale. When he was in the stomach of the whale, then he called on God. Tonight, you must call on God. You must come back to God and put your trust in God. The Bible says it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. Psalm 118 verse 9. Psalm 108 and verse 12. Give us help from trouble for vain or useless is the help of man. Don't look to any human being. No political party can save Zimbabwe. Only God can help Zimbabwe. I am telling you that. Jonah chapter 2 he said and Jonah was in the whale, the belly of the whale and he said I cried by reason of my affliction my trouble I cried to God and he had me out of the belly of hell I cried and thou heardest my voice Tonight, if you cry to God out of your difficulty, out of your trouble, it is supposed to make you come back to God, not to go further away from God. One day, a man went to a juju man. How do you call juju man? Nanga. Nanga. To help in his chicken farm. Instead of turning to God, he was turning to Nanga. Nanga. Hey. So when he went there, Nanga told him, this is the formula. He said, you have to take one chicken and keep him in a room for 21 days. And remove all the feathers of the chicken. chicken. So the chicken will be naked. <laughs> and you don't give the chicken, this naked chicken, food or water for 21 days. And he said, after 21 days, you open the door and the chicken which is naked and has not eaten or drank water for 21 days, you take corn in your hand like this with one hand and pour it on the floor. And the naked chicken without feathers, which has not eaten, which has not drank water for 21 days, will eat the corn. And after that, it will walk straight into a fire. <laughs> and after that, you will become a millionaire. <laughs> hey! Hey! She and after that, the number of years that you will enjoy the millions of dollars you are going to have, 
is the number of corn that the chicken didn't eat that is left on the floor. That you use one fist to, to give him. Hey, hey. Listen, Satan is not a good father. I went to a full gospel meeting and I heard a man saying that he has gone to see the juju man and the juju man told him to drink cow's urine. Hey. So he has to follow the cow to wait for the cow to wee wee. He was hoping for the cow to wee wee. So that he would drink it. A grown up. Hey. Tonight, God is telling you there is no salvation except in the name of Jesus Christ. The young man said, when he, Bible says, when he came to his senses, everybody say, sense, sense. Do you know the people who came to look for Jesus who, when he was born? Wise men, wise men, not fools. Wise men. Three wise men, they say, but wise men, not foolish men, wise men came to look for Jesus. And I want to announce to you in Majvingo, it is wise people who look for Jesus Christ today. Hosea chapter 6 verse 1 it says come and let us return to the Lord he has torn and he will heal us he has smitten and he will bind us up and after two days he will revive us and in the third day he will raise us up again and we shall live in his sight. Tonight, I want you to look at my hand like this. God sent me to invite you to come to your senses. And come to Jesus. Many years ago, I was in school. My best, I had a best friend. Is the same color as me. His mother and my mother were friends. They come from the same area. And his father also comes from the same place as my father. When you see us standing by each other, you right. would say that we are brothers. We have the same father or the same mother. The Bible says a certain man had two sons. We rode horses together. We swam in the same swimming pools together. 
Our mothers took us to the same places together. But one day I found Jesus. And I went this way. And he did not find Jesus. And he went another way. Yeah. Many years later, I saw him. He had become a thief. He had dropped out of life. He had become a liar. His father said to me, there is nothing my son will say that I believe. Apart from good morning or good evening, because I can see that it is morning or evening. Some years later, I saw him again. When I saw him, I said, my brother, my friend, what is happening to you? He said, give me money. I have no food. And You know, I put him in my car. And I took him to where he was staying. Hey. Demons don't want me to preach, but I'm preaching. <laughs> hey. Hey. Are you listening to me? When I was driving with him in the car, he said, he said to me, drop me here. I said, this place is too dark. It's very dangerous. He said, oh no, I'm already dead. I'm dead. You can drop me here. Nothing can kill me. I'm already dead. I said, why? He said, oh, I have HIV. I'm already dying. God told me, look after him. I gave him money till he died. When he died, we buried him. When you see us, we are like brothers. His mother is from Austria. My mother is from Switzerland. His father is from Ghana. My father is from the same town. Yeah. A certain man has two sons. Two directions. One went far. One came to God. Tonight, God is telling me to tell you to be the one who comes near to God and not to be the one who goes far away from God. Come, let us return to the Lord. Come to Jesus. You know, I've been serving God since I was 16 years old. I don't regret even one day. If I live my life again, I would like to start even by 12. Yes. I don't regret. I knew Jesus as a teenager. Yes. 
Donc, I knew Jesus as a teenager. Da casiva Jesus di chiriguto. And I've been serving Jesus since I was a teenager like this. Di casumira Jesus di chiriguto. People laugh at me, but I thank God I found Jesus Christ. I thank God I stayed in the Father's house. I thank God I didn't go far away from God. Vanu wakandi seka, sindi no tenda mwari. Hagi nagu tetereka. Hagi nagu pagumba kwa baba. Da karambira mo. When I was in school, even some of my professors laughed at me. But you see, you can laugh, but at the end, you will not be laughing. Oh, no. When the boy was feeding with pigs. You see, I think... In Zimbabwe, you eat pork, eh? So when you, when you hear this story, you don't understand when Jesus said, and the boy went to eat with the pigs, and the pigs were not allowing him to eat. When he was eating, the pigs said, Whoa, who are you? You don't belong. Go to your house. Why, what are you doing here? This is our food. <laughs> One day I went to Israel. That is when I understood this story. I was in a hotel. And they brought me the menu to decide what to eat. And I look at the waiter and I said, do you have pork? And he said, oh, pork, no! It is an abomination. They do it is like the most horrible thing, pork. So for Jesus to say that this boy became the brother of the pigs, struggling with the pigs for food, I tell you, you don't understand. How many want to go to hell? Hey! Demons, even snakes fear pigs. When you bite a pig, you will not die. It will eat you just now. Do you want to go into the fire with the pigs? No. 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 Jesus died for you. Jesus died for you. And Jesus sent me to Mashvingo to tell all of you, come back to God. Stop fooling around. It's time to return to the Lord Jesus. Instead of being far, you are going to be near. And one day, he came to his father and he said, Father, I have sinned. I am sorry. She can say, Baba, that's all can the cantata dine rombo. Yes. Many people don't confess their sins. If you were the prodigal son, some of you would have said, oh, I was doing some agricultural attachment in a certain farm and we were working on certain animals and I decided to come home for holiday. Tonight, Jesus sent me to invite you to come to the cross and come back home. You belong, you belong in the house. Your home is the church. Your home is with Jesus. That is where you belong. That is where you will have peace. You have to humble yourself and come to God. Some of you are too proud to go to church. But God is telling you, come home now. Yes. Humble yourself. 
And God will change your life. The blood of Jesus will wash your sins away. Your name will be written in the book of life. As for me, I have decided to serve Jesus to the end. And God sent me to tell you you must do the same. How many want to decide today, I'm coming back home to Jesus. I'm coming to Jesus. Jesus is calling you, come, come, come. Don't go and join yourself to another problem that will not make it better. No human being can help you. No political change can help you. In Ghana, we have had every type of political possibility. We have had colonialism, independence, Revolution, house cleaning, democracy, everything is equal to the same. Yes, all the same. That's why I'm not preaching about politics, but I'm preaching about Jesus Christ. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Jesus is the answer for the world today. And you must come to Jesus. And he will set you free. If you want Jesus to... Then stand to your feet and lift your hand like this. Hallelujah. Lift your hand up high. And say this if you want, if you don't want Jesus, no problem. But if you want Jesus tonight, say this prayer. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for your word today. For your word today. Oh God. Oh God. I am coming back to you tonight. I am coming back to you tonight. I know. I know. Nothing can help me. Nothing can help me. Only you can help me. Only you can help me. Tonight. Tonight. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I open my heart. I open my heart. I receive you. I receive you. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. And change me. And change me. From tonight. From tonight. From tonight. From tonight. I open my heart. I open Jesus as my Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me tonight. Please write my name in the book of life. Lord Jesus, from tonight, please write my name. In the book of life. In the book of life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For writing my name. For writing my name. My name is. My name. Mention your name now. My name is. Please write this name. Please write this name. In the book of life. In the book of life. Tonight. Tonight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. For writing my name tonight. For writing my name tonight. I am registering. I am registering. My name in the book of life. My name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For saving me. For saving me. Today. Today. Now lift your finger like this. Just point your finger like this. Say, Satan. 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 
Listen carefully. Listen carefully. From tonight. From tonight. I will not obey you again. I will not obey you again. I will not go away from my father. I will not go away from my father. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I will not go away. I will not go away. Satan. Satan. I will not follow you again. I will not obey you again. Satan, I curse you. I reject you. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. Satan, I will not follow you again. In the name of Jesus. Now lift up your two hands like this. Say, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, I love you. I, love you. I, thank, you I thank you for saving me. For saving me. I, will I will serve you. I belong to you. I, to I love you. you. I love Lord, Jesus, Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank Jesus Christ, Jesus you, Christ. Are you are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my Savior. From today, From today I am coming closer to you. I will seek for you and I will serve you. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Give Jesus a mighty shout and hallelujah. Now, I want to do something. I don't always do this. I want to lead you to make a special agreement with God. This is going to solve all your financial problems and other problems in Mashvingo. Do you want to know? Do you want to know what that is? Do you want to know what that is? Matthew 6 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things shall be added unto you in Majvingo. Matthew 6:33. Lift your hand like this and make your promise to God. Everybody here, tell God from today, I am going to seek first the kingdom of God from tonight. I make this covenant with you. From today, I promise you, seek ye first. I will put you first. And I am expecting all other things shall be added unto me from today. Everybody start praying. Start praying to God. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Seek ye first the kingdom of God in Mashvingo. All other things are going to come after. There will be water. There will be jobs. There will be rain. There will be blessing. There will be healing. Everything shall be added. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. 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 And his righteousness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wave your hand and say, I love you, Jesus. This is my covenant. This is my covenant. This is my agreement. Thank you, Jesus. Give the Lord a shout of hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, 
Nichitoka kumba. Dina urobo. Nema koreo sada katambisa. Diri kure nemi. Manerano das kwenera. Pone sai mwe wangu. Dire kerera ishose jomega kutanzirai. Dire chisi kwa chucha. You are Satan. The Matibon. Regeza upenu wangu. Dino kura ukama nemi. Dino tindaba wa mngari. Usi jarababa. Remana komana. Nere mwe mchene. Tivari na jeso. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Counselors, you need to be positioned everywhere so that when the evangelist prays for the sick and invites them to the front, you write the names of the converts in your area. As you can see, we are a large crowd. They cannot move to the front here. So be there, be everywhere and write the names of the converts. I think that is what you must do. And anyone here who has received Jesus Christ from today, you must start attending church. We've got wonderful pastors here and good churches in Mazwingo. You must go to church every Sunday from now on. And I believe God is going to bless you. It's time for miracles. Place your hand wherever the problem is right now. Something is about to take place that you have never seen before. Put your hand on wherever the problem is. Yeah. Yeah. Lift your two hands and begin to pray. Just pray. Just lift your hands wherever you are. Everybody lift your two hands now. As the power of God comes, just pray. As evangelist ministers, pray. Just lift your hands and pray. Talk to God now. Keep talking to God. He's going to come to you. The power of God is going to flow mightily. Keep praying. Don't stop. Keep praying. Keep praying. Jesus. The power of God is present Jesus. here to heal you. Keep right praying. Now, right now. Father. In the name of Jesus. Place your hand wherever your problem is. Place your hand wherever your problem is. Jesus is going to touch you right now. Thank you, Jesus. Father, thank you for your power. Thank you, Jesus. Satan, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Yes. Satan, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Yes. Satan, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Come out of the people now in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Come out of the people right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Come out. Come out. Come out. Demons are coming out of people right Jesus. now. Jesus. Receive your healing yes. right now. Receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your power now. Receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus. Right now. Right now. If you have an eye problem, put your hand on your eyes. If it is your eye, put your hand on your eyes. If it is your knee, put your hand on your knee. God's power is flowing. Receive it now. Miracles. Yes. Miracles. Yes. Receive it. Yes. Kabayan Derebo Shatakayaba.
Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. For healing. Father, thank you for your power that is yes. flowing. Put your hand on your stomach. Yes. If it is your leg, put your hand on your leg. Yes. Miracles yes. are taking place right now. Yes. Miracles are taking place right Jesus now. Jesus name. Receive it. In Jesus name. Receive it. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Yes. Thank Any, you. Jesus. Anybody who is falling down, screaming, bring them to the front quickly. Anybody at all. Demons are coming out. Yes. Satan, I command you out. Jesus' name. Out, out, out. In Jesus' out. name. Out. Thank you for your Come power out now. Now, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your power now. Receive deliverance. Thank you for your power. Receive now. deliverance. Yes. Receive deliverance. Yes. Receive deliverance. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Father, thank you for your power. Thank you, Jesus. Something, Something is happening. Power. Something is happening power now. Of God. Receive the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Receive the power of God. Receive the power of God. Receive. Everybody lift your hand and thank God right now. Thank God right now. Thank God right now. Thank you, Jesus. I am the Lord that healeth thee. I am the Lord, your healer. Oh, I, I sent, sent my word, and I heal your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. Right now, if God has touched you, check yourself very quickly. Yes. Whether there are insects flying or not, God's power is real. Yes. Receive it now in Jesus' name. Miracles are taking place. You couldn't walk. Begin to walk. You couldn't see. Open your eyes right now. Open your eyes right now. Power is flowing. Power is flowing. Power is flowing. Something is happening. Thank you, Lord. Wherever you are, if God has touched you tonight, if God has touched you tonight, lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. If God has touched you tonight, lift your hand. If God has touched you tonight, lift up your hands. Father, thank you for many, many miracles tonight. Now, if God has touched you, I want you to come from wherever you are. I want to pray for you over here. Come all the way to the side, quickly, very quickly. Yes, many miracles have taken place. Many miracles have taken place. Jesus. Jesus. Come, come. If God has touched you, come. Come to this side here. I want to pray with you. Come. Quickly. For you. Many, many miracles tonight. Thank you. 